This is Twit. I buried the lead because Microsoft announced a new key for Windows keyboards for Copilot. Wait a minute, just one? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it, uh, I don't know, schwa? What is it? It's, it's, it's a Copilot key. Oh, so what's it look like? I, I was <laughs> delighted to watch all of my uh, colleagues in my space uh, get the story wrong. It's the first new uh, key on a Windows keyboard in over 20 years. You no, know, it isn't. No, it's not. Do we need, no, it's not do we need I know Matt, Apple does no. this now. Do we need a no, dedicated right. operating system nope. key? No. No, we don't. Uh, and it just makes I it mean, I, and, and besides, we already have one. Well, we have I, a Windows key. Yeah. I, I feel well, like now we got two. We don't. Yeah, we don't take advantage of some of the things we could be doing, like getting rid of superfluous keys like caps lock, you mm -hmm. know. Um, also, we could be doubling up functionality on certain keys. So, so caps lock, for example, um, maybe if you pressed and held on shift or something or double tap shift, it would do mm -hmm. that. You know, it, it could toggle a light or something so you can know it was in that mode, whatever. I mean, there's there's a lot of efficiencies we could be doing. Um I would say the the Windows key solves a purpose because it opens the start menu. And I do think, uh, you know, as someone who uses the keyboard a lot, I, I do like that nice. It's easier than control escape, you know, or whatever, which is the, also the shortcut. Yeah. But uh, yeah, do we need a co-pilot key? No. No. <laughs> Until we don't. <laughs> and um, especially because co-pilot on Windows is so terrible right now. Right. Mm. Um, now that could change. Uh, they... I don't know. I, I this came up with uh, Satya Nadella. I think it came up with um, who else talked about this? Uh, da, 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 someone else. At Microsoft talked about this notion that Copilot will one day maybe replace Start. You know that this will be our app orchestrator, and this is will be will, where we will literally start lowercase s. You know, getting stuff done, and yeah, that's that's fine. And 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 in the five to thirty years it takes for that to happen, you know, maybe we can talk about this key. But maybe at that point that becomes the Windows key. I mean, what's the difference? I, I don't. So. The, here's the good news. Um, I, uh, you're not going to see this on all keyboards, for one thing. Um, it is replacing a key that has different names, uh, the menu key. Uh, you'll see on the right side of a lot of keyboards, uh, right side of the uh, space bar, which is the context menu key, right? Which, right. like the Windows key, is related to functionality that debuted, not really, but debuted officially formally in the OS in Windows 95 and was not particularly discoverable or underst well understood by the user base. And uh, they thought if, you know, people will look at this thing and say, oh, look, it makes a menu come up, you know. Um, so people weren't using that. Microsoft, of course, had an office keyboard with an office key. Um, and all the office apps have their little goofy window office key shortcuts, which you can still do through a contorted three or four uh, key shortcut and blah, 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 whatever. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really... Well, yeah. and I'm just looking down at this keyboard going, well, I have two Windows keys. That's a lot of Windows. Do you really? And yeah. Oh, really? One, one on each side of the space bar. It goes oh, wow. Windows key, alt, space bar, alt, Windows key. Oh, boy. Well, yeah. that's, uh, I guess that's good for lefties or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's just too enthusiasm. It's like, look, re and, and then there is that context menu key. The one that right. no, oh, you have that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you, like, you kind of like uh, everything to be symmetrical. <laughs> yeah, well, I only have one of the context menus keys because it's all. It is, after all, right click. So why That's should true. it only be on the right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a weird thing. I I don't know. Anyway, I don't. I feel I don't like keyboards should be standard across the board. I do too. I oh god, uh, please, that would be the best. No mm, yep. chance. That's something actually. Google give them a little credit. Uh, people around here, these parts probably don't pay attention to this, but. Uh, Chrome OS keyboards are pretty damn standard. Like they're they're they almost exactly have the that same everywhere. Menu key, you know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I just I feel Which like I, what's happened. It's the same thing that happens on the uh, first page of your phone. Is companies decided that's keyboard is realist is valuable real estate. Let's put an ad there. That's and, right. And I yes. don't want an ad there. I right. want. It's a like when you buy a, a, a like a streaming box. It has like. Preset buttons yeah, for Netflix, that Hulu, and for. whatever. Yeah. And you're like, I only subscribe to one of those. And it moves yeah. around you know? because it depends <laughs> who is... paid this year, you know? It's right. really yeah. frustrating. Yeah. yeah, it's stupid. Yeah. So whatever. I, I don't I don't I don't think this is gonna be a big change, but uh, but there are some uh, there are some companies that have uh, added it already. In fact, okay, so I skipped over this. Let me let me talk about one of those companies briefly, is uh, Samsung. And if uh, you thought those guys put a lot of crap on their phones, let me tell you, people, you got to check out their PCs. Awesome. <laughs> and um, aside from that little problem, which is not a little problem, it's a big problem. Um, there is the uh, there is the other problem with Samsung and Microsoft, which is they have a secret little partnership going on. 
And uh, I don't like this because it leaves out a lot of people. And what I mean by that is to date, if you have the phone link app and you have an Android phone, you get a certain set of functionality. It was always better than what you got on an iPhone, but there's a third level of functionality. And that's if you have a Samsung flagship phone from a recent year, you get additional functionality around S21, S22, that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. So you get like a remote app from the phone running in a window on your desktop. You get remote desktop, a remote display of the entire phone. There's some other stuff. So there's some stuff that you only get with Samsung. It's not that those phones are any more powerful or whatever than other phones. It's just they have a partnership, right? And so right. this is, you know, you'll see Bing is, you know, the Bing app will be on a Samsung phone. There's, there's a little bit of, you know, quid pro quo going on here or whatever. There's something, it's a partnership, right? And Unfortunately, with their latest uh, devices, which look nice, you know, Galaxy Book 4, and there's a series of them. I, I'm sure over time they'll have laptops and 360s and whatever they have, but, um, you know, they're nice looking machines. They'll be loaded down with crapware. Um, they actually have additional features that are unique only on Samsung. And in this case, you have to have a Samsung laptop of this stripe. It has to be the newest one and one of the more recent year Samsung flagship phones. Hmm. And you get additional co-pilot functionality in windows <laughs> it's like guys what, what the what are you doing is that like, machine even run windows yes it is a windows laptop okay yep. yep so i am not a fan of that kind of exclusivity type of thing and so i'm just gonna I'll, i'm not gonna read this whole thing but um uh, the way the integration as samsung describes it means um you could let copilot track down restaurant recommendations your friends have made in previous messages on your phone search visitor reviews in the browser Send a message to someone else if they want to go to dinner that evening, all from your PC through the phone. So in other words, you have co you have a Copilot app that no doubt is being bundled on the Samsung phone now, right? You have Copilot in Windows, obviously, Copilot key in the keyboard, and uh, these things are going to integrate, but only if it's all Samsung. And guys, I'm sorry, but like, come on, that's ridiculous. And uh, that's too bad. So that's where we're at there. <laughs> um, so there's your... How's your co-pilot key now? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. 